Hi there, so in this tutorial here we're going to be looking at producing a CAD model of our phone holder and in this first video we're going to be looking at producing the kind of base section of the phone holder. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating how to combine shapes and to create models in Tinkercad and then in later tutorials we'll also be looking at constructing uh, our personalised part of the phone holder using Tinkercad. So for example I did the J here. Um, we're looking for the model created with uh, the kind of correct shape for if we're exploring level two and with an attempt at add a, uh, adding the personalized part and uh, we're moving into a reinforcing level two we're looking at mostly accurate sizes and personalized part modeled as well so for that top level we're looking for a really uh, accurately produced model there with all the right dimensions and the personal part carefully modeled there as well so we move into tinkercad as i said the part we're going to be working on first it is that one there so kind of the base part in this tutorial here so got myself a new tinkercad model and i'm going to start with the box tool i'm going to add the two legs so i'm going to drag that out and i'm just going to position that i'm going to position it so it's on the kind of darker grid lines which are every 10 millimeters there and i'm going to drag that to the size i want then as you drag you can actually then click on the dimensions so i'm going to make that 70 and i'm going to make that 12 across and that's sometimes you find it easier if you're looking for an exact dimension in Tinkercad. I can then drag the height and adjust that there. And I just want to adjust that so it's 18. As you know from the model, there's two legs. So what we can do is we can click on the uh, duplicate part tool. So we've got the duplicate button there. And I can just drag that off them. We want that roughly 70 millimeters apart. Um, which is going to be just there okay and the reason why it says 58 is actually 70 is because it's not cutting it from the outside so the outside to the outside is 70 millimeters because we've got 12 millimeters in there 58 plus 12 will be 70 and again you should see it should be sitting on one of the other uh, kind of dark lines just running right up to the edge of that there so we've got our uh, our legs added next up I want to add the kind of main base there which sits on top of that I'm going to grab another box in there and I'm going to make this the right size before I position it. So again, dragging it out, I'm going to click and I type in the dimensions. I'm going to go with 70 there and 70 there as well. And then height wise, we want that to be 30 millimeters tall. We're then going to drag that up so it's sitting at the right height. Remember, we made those legs 18, so we make it drag that to 18. We'll drag that and I'll drag that little black arrow there for that one there. So now we just need to position it, and that's just a matter of lining it all up. And there we are. So that's sitting in the right position. We we'll just rotate round, nothing's overlapping at the back, nothing's hanging over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first leg, I'm going to hold shift, I'm going to click on the next two items, and then I'm going to combine that, I'm going to group that. So they are now a group. You can see the lines uh, which were separating those originally have now disappeared. And if I moved that around, it would move as one object. Next up, I want to put the two grooves that we have in. So I'm going to grab another box as well. And I'm just going to set that down there. I'm going to drag this out. This one here, we're going to make 80. It's got a bit of overlap. I'm going to make it 20 deep that way there. So 80 by 20 for the base. And height-wise, we're going to make that to 15. So we're going to drag that down a bit. There we are. And then this one here, we need to drag up as well. Let's position it because it's going to do that grooves at the top there. So we're dragging that up so it's at 33. So drag that up. There we are, 33. Then I can then drag that across into my model. And you can see the top of that box and the top of our previous grouped items has lined up. So I've gone a little bit too far there actually. So there we are, minus one, so that's it lined up there, 33. We want that box to be kind of 12 mil back. So you see these little squares here, the dark squares are every 10 millimeters, and there's little segments here, every one. So I can see from that there, I need to go a couple of mil back. So I've got one large uh, grid square there, and then two rows of small grid squares before I've got my, uh, before I'm gonna put a hole in. And you can see that's going to be positioned there. 
So I'm going to click on that uh, negative box there. I'm going to hold shift and click on the main model there. And I'm going to group those as well there. And that gives us a nice cut where our phone would sit there as well. Next up, I'm going to add this slot at the back, which a little support goes into. I'm going to grab another kind of negative box, a cutting box. And I'm going to drag that out there as well. So we're going to make that again, I'm going to make it 80. But this time I'm going to make it, oops, I'm going to make it 80 by 12 this time here. And this one we're going to make a little bit shallower. It's going to be 10 millimeters. I'm going to drag that over towards here. So you can see we're getting it in the right height. And then I'm going to drag that up using that little top black arrow there. I'm going to drag this up. So it should be 38 and that should line up with the top there. See, so it's lined up with the top and it's also at 38 mil. So that's at the right height there. We then need to position this in the right place. So I'm going to drag that back. And again, we want this 12 mil in from the back. So that there is 10 mil. So you can see the blue edge of uh, the shape is projected onto the grid down here. So that's 10 mil because that's one large grid square from the back. And I'm going to drag that two small boxes forward. So that's 12 mil there from the back. And it's lined up at the top. So just as I did before, I'm going to select that shape and make sure it's selected. Hold shift and select the other shape. And then I'm going to group those two items there as well. One thing we are missing in this here is a hole for our charging cable to go through. And we had that in our models in the workshop. So we're going to add that to the cylinder bring a cylinder to in here and um, we're going to make that so it's 12 by 12 Oops. there we are I'm just going to extend the height of that Oops, I'm extend the height so I'm grabbing the white one not the black one and then I'm going to drag that back so it's, so it's in the kind of middle of that slot there so just drag it forwards a little bit there we are there. We're going to make sure that's aligned centrally though. So we're going to hold shift to select the base, the main block as well. We're going to click the align tool and then we're going to click that center one at the front there. And that'll just make sure it was lined up centrally. Making sure they're both selected again, I'm holding shift to select the two. And we'll combine those two shapes and we've got a hole in our base there. And I'm just going to change the color of that base. So it's kind of Looks a little bit more like the wood that we've made it out of. There we are. So we've got our hole for our charging cable. We've got a slot at the back for our support. We've got a slot there for our phone as well. So that is our first part there. So hopefully you've been careful. We've got all the dimensions correctly added and your shape and the model as well resembles the model shown on the screen here. Next up in the next tutorial, we'll show you how to add the back piece or we'll show you how to add your customized letter at the front.